It's make or break day for the market. This is what you need to know before the bell. Yesterday, the market sold off sitting right on the 200-day moving average. This is that critical level of support that we've been talking about. Of course, a lot of program trading set up this morning. Futures are pointing lower at the open for both the NASDAQ and the S&P. Salesforce, which reported very good earnings yesterday, that'll be supporting the Dow this morning. The Dow's up about 73 points. Of course, that's a price-weighted index, and Salesforce will be contributing a fair amount of gain to that index of 30 stocks. But over on the S&P and the NASDAQ, much different story. Markets will open lower here. Now, importantly, as we talked about in today's daily market commentary, which is on the website now at realinvestmentadvice.com, make sure you're subscribed. We email that to you every morning at 7.30. Um, We are now sitting at the 200-day. A break below that is going to immediately run into the 100-day moving average sitting right below that. So, Be careful if you have stop set right at the 200-day moving average. Don't necessarily knee-jerk and sell positions on the immediate break of the 200-day moving average. Again, we have support just below the 200-day moving average. And we've been in a sell-off now for over two weeks straight as the market has been under pressure with the sell signal that we've gotten. Markets are oversold here. We're due for a bounce. So we may break that support today. Watch that 100-day moving average just below that. We also have the rising trend line from the October lows as well, also providing support. So be careful kind of knee-jerking here. We could very well see a break and then an immediate recovery above that support line that would still be a valid test of the 200-day moving average if that occurs. And a rally here would be a better opportunity for both the oversold condition of the market to get worked off and to reduce risk at some better prices here over the next couple of days. I wouldn't expect much of a rally at all, given what we've got going on, the Fed meeting coming up, of course, concerns about a 50 basis point rate hike now increasing the 10-year Treasury back above 4%, certainly pressure on the markets near term. But again, after two weeks of selling here, markets are oversold. We're due at least for a bounce for a couple of days. That'll give you a better opportunity to sell into. Again, if we break through the support and remain below it, give it a day or two. Where we finish the week is going to be important. But normally, as I said, an initial break, by the time markets do that, markets are oversold. You tend to get a bounce. You'll get a little better exit point to reduce risk in your portfolio before the decline continues. That's what we're watching for right now. And that's what you need to know before the bell.